welcome to another video. I am Stephanie and in today's video I will be sharing my experience with the last block of the Evolve Foundation course. I was enrolled in the Foundation course, which is extremely beginners friendly and really meant for anyone who has never touched a painting brush or oil paint. It's comprised of four blocks, three of which I have already completed and made a video about. So if you're stumbling on today's video for the first time, you might want to check out those three videos first. I made a playlist of the whole course, the link is in the description box below. Now I started this course on August 24th of 2021 and finished the four blocks recently on September 25th of 2023. It took me a little over two years to complete this course. According to the staff, it's supposedly or most students finish this course over the span of one year, which honestly sounds very reasonable. I am a full-time artist and I work a lot doing artworks for group and solo shows. I run this YouTube channel. I also teach on the side. So I have a lot of different things that I do to earn a living. I even wrote a coloring book this year that basically took over my life for the last six months or so. Yeah, I just didn't have much time to spend on anything else. So Evolve was just not a main consideration or goal at all. But if you have a more normal life with a day job and a few other responsibilities, then one year is very likely what you're going to need to complete this course. Now, can you finish it faster? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Depending on how much free time you have every week, you probably can complete the foundation course in maybe six months. It really depends on your dedication and the free time you have. Now, I should also note that finishing it faster isn't necessarily better, as taking breaks in between studies will help you to assimilate the skills and techniques much better. In any case, this course requires dedication. You're going to learn a lot, you're going to get a lot of practice and teachers will help you hone your skills along the way. But it's also going to be boring and tedious at times. Learning how to be very technical can get frustrating because this might not be your career goal. I should know I'm not interested in that type of realism specifically. But I can guarantee you that if you manage to work through all these studies, little doors are going to open in your brain and you'll have a much better understanding of painting, color mixing, and your observational skills are going to be much better as well. And all of these are super useful, whatever arts career you are going to work for or what art style you're interested in. The whole series is sponsored by Evolve as they gave me their foundation course for free. Now, originally they wanted me to only try out block one, but I really wanted to get back into oil painting. So we ended up agreeing on me following the entire course and filming the process for you guys to see how it's working. You will learn through a string of instructional videos with Kevin Murphy, who takes the time to break down his technique in simple steps. He's a really good teacher, making oil painting very approachable. He's also an acclaimed oil painter and has won various prizes. Block four has the least amount of studies of all blocks, only eight, against 20 studies for each of the other blocks. However, unlike the other blocks, you only get one single piece of gray primed canvas per study. So they expect you to succeed your painting on the first try. Now I have to admit I never had to redo any of the studies until then, but I was also not a complete beginner. I believe some students need a few tries to get a study right, which is perfectly fine in the learning process. Block four is simply more challenging in that regard. And I think it's a very good approach as it forces you to be hyper-focused and precise with all the skills you've learned so far. Unlike the other blocks, you are going to have just one very long teaching video to watch in the first part. Technically, it's a string of shorter videos and they amount to a total of 140 minutes, which is two hours and 20 minutes. The rest of the block is just practice and the eight oil studies with the teachers criticizing each study. Side note, right now you see me using a palette knife to paint. This was me being rebellious. I just thought the concrete jar in the background would look interesting with a more rough texture. And I figured working with a palette knife would be fun. 
Now, you're not really supposed to make such moves and choices in the course, but I also think studies are a place to experiment further, and I knew I could do it with a brush, I just wanted to try something new. In block 4, Kevin Murphy teaches you what he calls direct painting, which in very short is to paint in one go from the darkest to the lightest color. Now, the first three blocks actually prepare you gradually towards this specific approach, but this is the culminating point to it. That being said, by now you're likely going to have certain ways of painting unique to you and you might have implemented them in your workflow. I feel like you generally think a little less about how to paint in block 4 because you've had so much practice already, you just paint, it flows more easily. Once you have listened to that long lesson, it's time to put the direct painting approach into practice through 8 other studies. Sadly, two of those studies are going to be grayscales. <sighs> Yeah, I know. I'm going to be honest, and I know it's a very unpopular opinion, but I just don't find grayscales all that useful. Of course, it's very personal, but I see shadows and shapes so much better when everything is in color, but I also find grayscales to be just very depressing and boring. I know they're a very classic approach, I'm not criticizing that approach. I'm sure it's useful for most students, but yeah, I just prefer colors. <laughs> By the way, since we're talking about those very, very sad grayscale studies, they're actually in position 1 and 7, which means you're starting with a grayscale study, then you go on and do 6 color studies, go back to a grayscale and finish with a color study. Anyway, in block 4 you are meant to take your time and do the oil studies right, meaning each study actually takes quite some time to be painted. Now, while the first four I managed in about half a day each, the last four I needed one day for each painting, which is quite a lot. If you have a full-time job, it means you're going to paint these over the span of a few evenings. This time I found the subjects diverse enough to be interesting. You've got portraits, food and objects, and most importantly, you can actually choose yourself what you want to try out from the photographies that they are providing. I really liked that. I actually picked out a portrait as I figured I never do portraits and I will never really do another portrait in the future, or at least that's not planned, because I just have zero interest in the human figure, but I thought, you know, it's a good exercise. Objectively speaking, the subjects are what an oil painter is going to need to learn to paint anyway. I feel like Evolve has a very practical, no-nonsense approach to oil painting. They teach you to be able to reproduce photography in a very realistic way, doing portraits, still life, you know, it's a very classical traditional approach of art and I know there's a market for that. So once you complete this course you can basically start taking on commissions and earn a living as a painter. The whole teaching is about technique and getting accustomed to oil painting and honestly they do a great job at it. You're even going to find the studies easy at the end. Time consuming for sure. Annoying, yes, but technically speaking, easy. In case you didn't know, they sent everything you need to paint, high quality paints by Old Holland, pieces of prime canvas, the photos you're working on, and also checklists to learn how to critique your own work, and also carbon paper to transfer the image onto the prime canvases. Technically, you don't need to buy anything extra to achieve the oil studies and just learn to paint. It sounds like nothing much, but as a full-time artist, this is quite invaluable. Picking out the right materials can often drive you crazy. You have to understand which brand is good or not, make the right color choices, find the right canvases, wonder which brushes would be the best. And while this is all part of the fun later on, or at least I find it fun and most of the artists I know enjoy buying and trying art supplies. But when you're just starting out, it really isn't because it's just too much information and you don't know where and what to pick. Now having a selection of colors that work and just starting to color mix and paint 
is just the best approach when learning. It makes it easier. Mixing colors is actually a huge part of oil painting and it's quite interesting how you learn to spend one hour easily to just mix the right colors to replicate the picture. Having a physical photography is extremely helpful for that, as you can grab a bit of paint with your palette knife and put it next to the photography to check if your mixture is correct. Side note, I really wanted to learn how to glaze, so I tried that on this painting. I got a glazing medium, mixed that to some transparent paint and, well, I just tried. This isn't expected at all from you. Glazing is just another oil technique that not everyone actually enjoys nor uses. I know many painters who don't use it at all because you have to wait between layers and so it's taking a lot longer to complete. But as with the palette knife earlier in this video, I just wanted to give it a go and I'm showing this and explaining it to you briefly so you know, okay, I experimented and I also feel like studies are a place to experiment and I think that's an important part of the process as well. Every completed study is sent to the Evolve Quarters and a teacher will look over it and criticize it. Usually they're pretty fast, they will reply to you in less than a day, usually maybe a few hours to 10 hours, something like that, so it's very fast. They have a precise grid to follow and so they check if your lines are straight, if the canvas is properly covered, if the paint thickness is regular, if the colors are properly mixed, if the gradients are smooth and so on. They will tell you exactly what you did right and what you did wrong and that really helps you to improve and be more careful about it in the next painting. Now, if you mess up the mixing, the teachers at Evolve will always tell you how to correct it by telling you what color to add or if the mixture should have been more reddish or bluish or greenish or whatnot. In that regard, taking proper pictures of your studies is really important as otherwise you're not going to get the right advice. So now that you might have a good idea on what the foundation course of Evolve is, is it something you want to invest a lot of money in? The first thing to consider is if you can afford it or not, because it's quite expensive. Currently in 2023, the foundation course with its four blocks is priced at 2,500 US dollars. Now don't get me wrong, I think that the price is right and correct. It's not overpriced. The course is really good. The quality of the lessons, the materials you get, the teacher support who follow you and help you one-on-one. -on -one. You can even ask more support if you need some. So yeah, it's absolutely worth it in terms of price. But I also know that it's not cheap. So if it's a lot of money for you and you just cannot afford it, then I know from experience that you can pick up an art technique on your own using free resources like YouTube, for instance, but also just searching online on Google for written tutorials. There are a lot of books out there as well. So there are other options available to you that are much more affordable and even free sometimes to just pick up um, oil painting and see if you like it before investing so much money into an online course. Another option is also to find a local to you painting class that might be more affordable. So if it's too much money, learn by yourself and maybe put some money aside if you can and ask yourself again in a year from now. Now, if you can afford the course without much of a sweat, it's going to depend on your own art goals. If you want to seriously pick up oil painting and hone your technical skills, or if you are very interested in realism and would like to paint portraits as a living, then yes, of course, go for it. You're not going to regret it. This might still sound like an investment, but considering the quality of it and how much you learn, it's totally worth it. Now, if you are more of a free spirit and are interested in dabbling with oil paint, but have zero interest in getting super technical, then probably not for you. I also don't think it's that useful someone who already knows how to copy your photography or to paint in general. 
Maybe the advanced course is, but I haven't tried that one, so I can't say anything about it. But if you already know how to paint, then I feel like it's more about practicing than taking an online course. In any case, keep in mind that this course requires dedication and time. You will also have to follow a specific path and rules. In order to get the most out of it, you just need to follow that path. Once you have the technical skills, you will be free to experiment and adjust the technique because you will know what you're doing. So being too rebellious uh, like myself <laughs> might mean you have to fight your inner rebellion. It is worth it, I just wanted to point it out. On a personal level, as much as I found certain studies tedious and the whole grayscale a tad boring, I still am very happy to have completed this course and can only recommend it to anyone who wants to seriously get into oil painting. Being able to copy a photography is very satisfying and now I know I can do it. So that's it for this review that spanned over two years. I can't believe it, two years. Check the whole playlist in my description box to learn more about the other blogs. And yeah, I really hope you found it useful, that it will help you to decide if this course is for you or not. If you watched this until the end, please leave a paint palette or brush emoji in the comments. It always makes me so happy to see those. Also, let me know if oil painting is something you're interested in or if you use another material that you prefer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.